Hey there. So I'm the school of thought that most, if not almost all your visualizations can be handled with a simple table, maybe a pivot table, uh, but definitely like line charts and bar charts, whether those be stacked or grouped in some form, but those should probably cover like most of your visualization needs. Uh, maybe throw in a map for, for good measure, but, but that's pretty much it. Uh, now that said, I am a uh, sucker for a Sankey diagram. Uh, and for those of you who uh, don't know what a Sankey diagram is, uh, let me pull it up here. Uh, this is uh, what it looks like. So it's kind of that like, you know, flowy chart. Um, and these are fun for a number of reasons. One, they're just kind of one visually appealing. Um, and two, I think they do tell uh, a fairly interesting story uh, used when, when used correctly. Um, and I've seen a few of these sort of charts floating around on, on, on the social medias and, um, you know, I thought it would be kind of fun to, to recreate one. And I wanted to show you how to do that very quickly here. Uh, so if you're saying accountant or in finance and you're maybe presenting your numbers at all hands, uh, this might be just a much more engaging way to show those numbers to the rest of the company rather than some uh, raw numbers or a table. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing that you have to do, let me go back to Fabi here. Uh, the first thing and probably the hardest thing to be honest is actually getting your data. So you can uh, obviously just work with your raw data directly. If you have some financial uh, sheet that has this information, just ask the AI to manipulate it for you. In this case, what I did is I actually just took like pen and paper and I just sort of drew the diagram with the numbers that I had. Um, and I just inputted it here. So I'm assuming that you're not building like a, a Sankey diagram that has like a hundred different sort of nodes or, or pipes. Um, if, you, if you do, then this might be a little bit tedious. Uh, but assuming you're just kind of like showing a high level picture, then, then this is probably a perfectly fine solution. So you simply have to figure out and, or sorry, it's, I should say like, um, provide the sort of source and destination and the number. So here I'm saying that the product A is contributing $200 to the product revenue, product B is contributing a hundred to product revenue and so on and so forth. Okay, so once we have that data, you can come to Fabi, or as a matter of fact, you can do this in just Python as well if you uh, know how to get that set up and, and do it there. Uh, but if you're not as comfortable with Python, then Fabi is probably a great place to go. You can simply upload a file here. It can be a CSV, it can be an Excel file, whatever your data is in. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. Let's upload it. And this is some small data, so it should take just a second. There we go. Okay. So now we have the data and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna ask the AI to actually create that chart for me. So let's go down here to our AI. Let me actually go ahead and pin our AI panel here. And let's ask the AI to just go ahead and create a Sankey diagram. So simple as that. Let's give it just a few seconds here. Okay. So now it's done generating my Python code. I'm gonna go ahead and hit add to Smartbook down here. And just like that, I have my Sankey diagram. So now from here, I don't love this blue uh, and you probably wanna make it a little bit more engaging and colorful. So to do that, uh, we can, let us let me show you here, for example. So here we just wanna say, for example, make the um, these buckets sort of like green or red, depending on positive or negative uh, to really help with our story. So I'm gonna come back here and quick note is that you know, maybe I would have called these naturally like buckets or groups or something like that. Technically they are called nodes and these are called links. Uh, you can probably ask the AI uh, or, or use whatever term you want with the AI and it should understand it, but I'm gonna use the technical term here. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna say, please, uh, let's see. So please make the following nodes red. And we're gonna make, let's see, cost of revenue. Uh, let's see, operating expenses, taxes, R&D, SG&A. By the way, I, I don't know, I kind of did this manual. I think I got all my buckets roughly right, but maybe an accountant can correct me here if I got it wrong. But um, so we're gonna make those red and then please make the following nodes green let's see gross profit operating profit and of course net profit so uh and i don't like this blue so let's go ahead and change that make every other node gray 
just double check everything. So cost of revenue, operating expenses, taxes, R and B, SGNA, and then gross profit, operating profit, and net profit. Okay, that looks good to me. So let's go ahead and submit that. Now the AI already has the code here, so what it's going to be doing is it's going to be just updating the code. It's not going to be creating entirely new code. Uh, once it's done that, I can simply hit apply here. So I'm going to apply that's going to apply it to a cell that I've selected. And I can see here it's adding the uh, the, co the color for the nodes. I'm going to go ahead and accept and run that. And voila, that's it. Uh, now we can obviously get fancy and you can start asking the AI to you know color the pipes and add labels and all sorts of like really cool stuff, really, really easy to do. But that's the, that's the gist of it. So um, from here, if you want to uh, say screenshot this and put it in your next all hands deck. You can simply come here. Uh, let's go ahead and shift things around a little bit. Maybe, uh, there we go. And then we're going to say maybe line these cost of revenue. We're going to put it up here, gross profit. And, and there we go. Now you can, you know, click this here to download this as a, as a picture. If you want take a screenshot, uh, put it in your all hands and, uh, tell your story. Thanks for listening.